Mauricio, what's your assessment of that one? Well, I think talking about the game is um, first half. I think we deserve um, a little bit more. I think we had the control of the game, um, and then the second half. I think we we start on the top of them, but after with the red card, the, cha the game changed, and we need to charge maybe 60 minutes until 11 by 11, and then with 10 le with 10 men. No? It's two different games. What do you think of the red cards? Being honest, it was in front of me, but I didn't see. And I and now I didn't see, I still didn't see. Um, I cannot say that wasn't red card. Um, and then we need to trust on the referees and the VAR. And then we cannot, you know, come back on the decision. And we need to accept that. And then, uh, yes, um, it's difficult to, to judge because I didn't see. Um, like I said before, uh, we need to trust on the referees and the VAR. When, when Gusto makes that challenge, they're right by the touchline in the place. He probably doesn't need to make that challenge. No, of course. Of course, it's our responsibility and the, the player responsibility. Also, we cannot blame the VAR or the referee. This situation, you know, we need to act different, in different way. I'm not going to, you know, to, 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 to blame and to say nothing again, malo gusto, because sometimes, you know, some situation happen on, on football. But of course, this type of situation uh, affect the, the, the game and affect the team because in a, in a negative way. I was just going to make the point though that also Jackson got his fifth book in. Yes. Do they need to grow up a little bit? Yeah, we were talking that I think we, we need to grow up um, like a team, not only in an individual way. I seen player like Nico that is so young and is 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 feeling the Premier League and is uh, is learning. I think need time in this type of game. Of course, that we are competing and we want to win and football is want to win. But also player when they are young need need to learn uh, with experience and made made a mistake. Um, yes, that is why it's, we feel disappointed because I think we are paying too many, you know, situations like this. I am agree with you that uh, too many things like this uh, are this, this thing, another small detail, another small detail, and in the end we are losing the game. And, and now we are in a situation, you know, that we need to change uh, as soon as possible. Simon, are you particularly frustrated with so because I asked about this on Friday, about Nicholas not doing a cheap yellow, and he's got a cheap yellow. And does it make your decision-making process harder with with Breuer, Rhys James? Are they sort of ready to, to start with Gusto, obviously Ban as well? But I think now it was good to see Broja after, I don't know, nine, ten months uh, again. Um, I think to have the possibility to have different options, and I think it's good for the team. But he needs to build his confidence also. Um, but it's about to learn. It's about the process. Uh, we are a young team. Um, that uh, is a process that they need to learn all together. Um, it's difficult to talk about positive because when you lose, uh, it's difficult, but I think we need to talk about positive things or we need to keep the positive things. No doubt that with time, I think the team is going to perform, but of course, now we cannot hide the, the, the situation that it's a, it's a situation that disappoints all, all the, the fans, the club, and, the, and the us, and the player, of course. Neil. Last season was Chelsea's worst this century. And now, at the moment, this season is worse again. Have the owners said anything to you about why they think it's been so bad under their ownership? Give me time, because <laughs> after the, I didn't see after the, the game. I didn't see them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Give me that. time. But the question is next week. All this, all, I mean, you've had the last two weeks to talk about it. But, but all this be a little bit more concrete about what. Well, the team has got. They are disappointed. No, so yes, of course they are disappointed. They are uh, they are right to the club and they are uh, they are so excited to uh, to build in some project and of course that they feel disappointed. But at the same time, they need to support the the plan. Of course, that they feel disappointed also. Adrian. Um, Marissa, obviously, I appreciate it's going to be more difficult after you go down to 10 men in, in terms of scoring, but it's, it's another game without scoring. I mean, obviously, our bigger concern is that. What's the solution? How, how do you change that? Work. Work. Giving, you know, um, 
trust on them, confidence. We are the squad, we have the squad that we have. Now we cannot change nothing, and it's all about uh, uh, try to build the confidence and give them all the support that they need because they need to perform on the on the pitch. And of course, is uh, the performance is good. I'm not going to say it's excellent, but we are missing to be clinical in front of the goal. Okay, uh, we need to keep going, working. I I, I cannot, uh, you know, to. To find another solution that we start tomorrow again to prepare the game again Wednesday and and the belief uh, and build the belief and build the, the confidence and the trust and uh, hope that we can score Wednesday. Okay, last one today, Jacob. When, when you're talking about needing to grow up as a team, does that also mean when you're conceding a goal? I think from from what was your own corner when you have ten men. Sorry about when you're conceding a goal, you're down to ten men, but it's you know you're on the attack, you're leaving yourself open. Is that naivety again? I think it was a little bit unlucky. How many chances we had, like uh, Aston Villa? <laughs> we block the shoot and then the shoot go and touch the, the post and go in. And, and for us, how many 1v1 uh, one 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 again, uh, uh, Emiliano Martinez? I think it was a little bit unlucky also. But that happened. We need to, to be uh, <laughs> in this situation, we need to accept the, the reality. But it was a little bit unlucky because it's how many chances they, they create. If we took uh, take off the, the set pieces, not too many. And with 10 men, I think we were forcing them to go back and we create too many chances. Um, that is unlucky. That is the situation, they are the situation that you know we need to, to be aware about what is going on. But uh, in, in some way, we need to be calm because I think the team is creating, the team is alive, the team is fighting every, in every single action. We cannot say nothing about the player. We cannot say that they, they give up after 70 minutes. They were fighting until to the end with one one uh, player le uh, less. And it's about to keep to keep working and hope that we can change as, as soon as possible the situation. Okay, we'll leave that. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take here this afternoon. Did you deserve more from that, do you think? It was an even game. We knew that the Aston Villa is a very good team, but I think uh, first half, I think we deserve a shoot score and, and win the game uh, after 45 minutes. And then we start the game really well in the second half. We were on top of, on, of them. Yeah, but after uh, everything changed when the red car appeared, and, and of course, after I think we were fighting, we conceded a goal in a, in a transition and a contra attack, but. Um, yes, uh, yeah, we need to now to analyze the things and yes, to take, uh, of course, um, solution to try to find solution f for the next uh, games. You mentioned things obviously turned with that red card decision. How harsh a decision do you think that was? It's difficult because I didn't see again. Uh, but when they check uh, because something was wrong, uh, I cannot shush because now I still am not uh, watching the on the TV. It's difficult to to say. You mentioned I mean it was, it was an open game. Chances at both ends. It could have changed so much if one of those chances in the first half, especially, would have would have gone in. I guess. I think until Malogusto was out, I think uh, we were the the best team. And then of course we won uh, Aston Villa one more. And then with the possibility to change the game with with subbed, you know, um, they forced a little bit us to be a little bit deeper. But we create also many chances when uh, we play with only ten men. And yes, disappointed again. Disappointed again because I think uh, never to lose this game but uh, again we lose uh, again. You've had to deal with injuries so far there's going to be suspensions obviously now as well how does that affect things in the in the coming days and weeks? Yeah but we cannot talk every every week about that um, that is a reality and we need to keep working and yes trying to to change the situation. And finally what is the message to the players because obviously they will be disappointed after today. No, of course well, I think they fight they they try they try until today never give up uh, it was a really difficult game but uh, only is to keep keep uh, working hard and for sure that we are going to change all together in, in the way that we are uh, working.